Plenty of April showers to talk yep. about. Yep. Yes, get on your tiptoes. Now it's time to talk about some May flowers. You've got plenty of time still to find that Mother's Day present. Mother's oh, yeah. Day also coming up here in May. And we're joined by America's top lifestyle <laughs> expert, Mar Jennings, to talk about maybe making mom a lovely little gift here. What are we talking about, Mar? Well, it, this is all about being creative and being resourceful. You're going to spend money for your mom this Mother's Day mm, anyway. So why not think about some creative resources that you have available that you might not think about? Because you're going to the grocery store probably to buy food to celebrate. While you're there, there's also other items that you can pick up to create something beautiful that's long-lasting, way past just cut flowers. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to show you right here. I have two finished examples right here. And the idea is to become resourceful and start looking at your grocery store as a wonderful resource. Are these all fresh? These are all fresh. No it smells so good. Yeah. Okay, right? It smells like the garden. It, it smells, smells like the thing. garden. Yes. The yes. idea is that you always want to start with a great vessel. Now, sometimes you could even do it in a bowl if you don't leave it in there for a long period of time because there's no drainage. Right. I like to find a wire frame, but anything will do. You have here an urn, and over here is another example of a wire frame. The key is that you want to pick up some moss. There's a variety of different moss available at your grocery store. There's Spanish moss, there's reindeer moss, and then there's the traditional moss, okay? Pick up a variety of different ones oh, because it it's about okay. texture and color and how you combine it together. All right. And look at these beautiful roses, okay? These roses are just lovely. And what's so great about this is that you can easily transplant them. Yeah. And what I've done here is I've lined moss first and then I have some potting soil that I've added inside. And I'm going to build from that and I'm just going to tuck that in there. Does the moss also help hold in some moisture too? Yes, it does. That's a very good point. I've been using a lot of moss for my planters in lieu of mulch mm -hmm. and it's just a wonderful decorative way to get some texture and interest while also promoting moisture in areas. Now and when, I, when I watered this, is water going to come out the bottom? Do I need to put something under it? What you're going to do when you finally water this, you want to put it in the sink, let it drain, okay. and then bring it back gotcha. to where you're going to present it. Now, here's another one, and I'm just going to fill this with roses, and you will find that this is very pliable, and they work really well yeah. when you intertwine a variety of different things together. I'm just loading this with roses because what mother doesn't like Absolutely. roses, right? So. I'm not, I'm not going to take is a lot of time. Is there some potting soil that you put inside there, here There as well? is. I started with some potting soil, and I'm just going to put this in here. And now we have three powerful, beautiful roses. Now, how you finish this is really easy. I'm going to take this moss, and I'm just going to intertwine it. But notice when I'm doing that, and just covering the roots, okay? Okay. It gives it that very finished, professional look. I'm just going around the base. You make this look so easy. Yeah, you guys, really listen, you, you do not have to be intimidated by doing this. And you said, you know, I don't know anything about flowers. You know, I'm scared of it. <laughs> this is not about having a lot of knowledge about the different plant materials. All it is is about putting it all together. Yeah. I'm showing you, and the step-by-steps -steps are either on my website or your website as well. And if you notice, I'm intertwining some of this reindeer moss just to add a different variation of color and texture. And then the piece de resistance is some of the Spanish moss. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do with the Spanish moss is when I add it, I like it to oh, cascade yeah, okay. a little All bit right. down. Nice. Just again, for that whimsical touch that really says, I paid attention to this. I love you, Mom. I want you to enjoy this. This is the gift that keeps on giving. So flowers die in, in you know, like a week or so. How long does something like this last, Mar? Great question. Because you're planting perennials, and the idea is that your grocery store is selling perennials right now. Mm -hmm. And here's another example of another great flower that, you know, you'd find there. It lasts just like any other perennial. When this is done and you find that the flowers are sped or it's about three, four weeks, go ahead and you turn this upside down, dig a hole and put it into the garden. And then it will come back every year. It's very easy and it also makes a big impact. And what mother doesn't like to look out and say, oh, I got that last year for Mother's Day. Yeah. You know, this is a perfect way of giving something that they can cherish Enjoy in the home. I mean, look at that. How That's long did beautiful. that take me? Great. That's right? it. Not For, even five minutes. Not even five minutes. And again, it's easy to do. And the moment you transfer it into the garden, it has that legacy. And it also gives you something to give Mother Nature, who doesn't, who doesn't want to give Mother Nature something back. Is Absolutely. That?